Oh, right, it's early in the morning. We're going for a little morning troll. Uh, Mahi Mahi is best at this time in the morning, so I'd love it if we caught one of those. I've never actually caught one, and there's a lot of them around here, so it's crossed. Okay, we've got a Dorado on. Brilliant. I've really always wanted to catch one of these fish. This is going to be my first one, if we get it in. Oh, brilliant. He's lit up with all of his colours. These fish are amazingly beautiful. Bright yellow and blue. Here he comes. Oh, wow. I've been so looking forward to catching one of these fish. He's a big one. Good size. Oh yes! <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a this is a Dorado. It's only a small one. But uh, beautiful. Unfortunately when they die they lose their colours, so but you can see now he's still just about alive. You see the beautiful colours that these fish have. Amazing golds, blue, literally neon blue dots. Um, this is a little baby one. These, they call these jelly beans. Um, these can get about five times bigger than this. <laughs> but this is a lovely fish. Oh, I've really wanted to catch one of these. This is the first one I've ever caught. Really chuffed. And they're very, very good to eat these. So extremely pleased. It's approaching lunchtime and there's a really nice beach over here. So we're going to pull up on it and we're going to cook up the mahi mahi, which I just caught. So John's creating a fire pit here. Um, essentially what it does is it intensifies the fire. So all of the uh, kindling and wood goes down in here. Then it starts burning up really hot and it turns into embers. Then we're going to get the mahi-mahi, wrap it in foil, uh, put a bit of seasoning on it. John's got his special seasoning. Um, salt, and uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> and, uh, and then we will feast upon the fish. So mahi-mahi um, is known by several different names around the world. Mahi-mahi, uh, dorado, dolphin, um, dolphin fish. Uh, these are pelagic fish, so they sit out in the ocean like tuna, but in the top section of the water and they're constantly on the move, constantly hunting. Um, they can grow quite a bit bigger than this, but this is a good eating size one. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Eat it. We're taking them to the kitchen now. This is all set up. Okay, so John's put the fish onto the silver, uh, tin foil, then he's rubbed it down with olive oil and is now squeezing a lime over it. He's actually keeping the whole lime in there as well. So it cooks with the fish and fuses the fish as it cooks. Just seasoning it with a little bit of salt and pepper just to bring out the flavor. I mean, you've got to be pretty lucky to be able to come out and do this. Like, just on a completely desolate beach. We've got fresh fish. We just made a little fire pit and we're going to cook all the fish up in there. I mean, paradise. <laughs> so here's our fish parcel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please not be bad. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And that should be done in five, five to ten minutes. Fast food. Perfect. Looking very good. Perfect. Okay, let's try and help out this. Mm. It's very, very good, this fish. It's a really nice texture as well. It's a little bit more like tuna than, um, than cod, if that makes sense. It's a little bit more firm. It's got a very strong flavour and it's lovely. 
Mm. Mm. Beautiful. I mean, this is a pretty amazing experience. We've literally caught these fish only an hour ago, brought them up onto the beach, hooked them up on a desolate beach in a, in a little sort of earlier. fire pit, which yeah. we built ourselves. What a perfect way to spend an afternoon. <laughs>